we drop down during the peak of silver bullet 10 to 11 time window. There is a silver bullet entry in here. There is a silver bullet entry in here during the AM session silver bullet time window. Trades down to consequent encroachment of the bullish propulsion block on the daily chart. And it's also consequent encroachment of the hourly fair value got this shaded in blue. Notice that? Then we rally a little bit. Short term high. We pierce that. We have an order block again that was shaded from the higher time frame. We drop down, touch another order block on the hourly chart. So you can see the hierarchy from higher time frame down to lower time frame. The market touches it beautifully, stops perfectly at this opening price, the down close candle, inside that shaded area, which is a larger time frame or higher time frame order block from high to opening price. That's what that green shaded area was. And then we rally. What does it form right here during the 1050 to 1110? What is the significance with 1150 to 1110? You're ending the 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock hour, which is the first 90 minutes of trading. And then we're going to enter the time of day where we enter a New York lunch. And New York lunch has its own macro, or it usually runs for liquidity. We have a low, high, lower low, making this, he's up close candles the two of them that makes us a bullish breaker and we can utilize that and anticipate higher prices running for the buy side here the buy side here and the high of the inefficiency that's shaded here on the higher time frame charts I want you to think about how the macro time is utilized for the market to begin its run for liquidity the run for inefficiency. What specifically is 1050? Well, it's 10 minutes before 11 o'clock. That's essentially the height of London close for Forex. Then we have the last hour before we get to New York lunch. Now, I know there's a lot of people that argue because there's no open outcry anymore like it used to be and you know, the markets are electronic. Nobody goes to lunch. doesn't matter. The markets will enter some measure of consolidation going into lunch. Uh, it'll run for liquidity or it can reverse. So those three primary functions that the lunch hour will do, you have to be able to fit that into the market profile for that particular day. And we have a nine farm payroll event. So we've seen the initial run here, buy side engineered sell side then it drops it down for sell side now it's free to go higher because no one's long they got stopped out anyone that was buying long on the breakout was raked across the coals anyone that went short breaking out below these relative equal lows here are trapped short then the market can go higher so I want you to see that these time windows these macros they're just a time aspect to when I anticipate the market to start reaching start doing some showing animation okay it's not enough to simply know these times of day inside those respective times there are specific times and windows of opportunity for me and now you as my students to anticipate a specific phenomenon in price where it will start behaving like we would expect it to it will start running for liquidity it will start running for inefficiency if the macros do not provide that timing aspect and the market just simply doesn't budge that is many times a beautiful illustration for you to stop looking and close your charts because the markets ran algorithmically whether you want to believe it or not that's the facts and if these elements are not producing movement driving price to either inefficiencies or liquidity if it's not showing any movement that you would expect it fits your analysis where you think the next draw on liquidity is going to be if that's not occurring you have to close your charts and trade the next session there's macros in the afternoon there's macros during the lunch hour okay uh, there's macros in the London session I'm showing you these two here because I just recently used them proving that they exist okay all a macro is is the beginning 
of a spooling event. Spooling is where price starts to reach for. It, it reaches for, um, think about like a, a fishing rod. You ever been fishing before? And you have your hook and your weight on the end of it and your bait's on the hook and you cast the fishing line out into the water. What's occurring with the fishing line? It's spooling. It's, it's running off this, this reel a fishing line and it's delivering that hook that weight and that bait far away from where you're standing that's what the, that's what these macros are doing it's like casting price away higher or lower and I'm watching these specific times a day to do those very things it is not going to give you a direction okay so when you see these people out there trying to talk about how yeah the macro here you know this is how you know it's going to be a buy is how you know it's going to be a sell no you need to require your understanding about all the other things I'm teaching you. You still have to know how to tape read. You still need to know how to determine a bias. You still need to know where liquidity is and how to use that liquidity and work within a higher time frame analysis. Otherwise, this is not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Okay? So if you don't know everything else that I'm teaching, this is going to be a point of frustration for some, for majority of you. I'm going to read complaints. People are going to complain about me in other people's videos. I don't care. I know how to use it. It's not imperative that you learn how to use it. But I wanted to show you, again, proof that these markets are algorithmic and they operate on the basis of time first. Time is the first crucial factor before price will move. Unless a bomb drops, unless there's some kind of geopolitical upheaval, something crazy, unexpected, swan event occurs the markets are not moving randomly they're not just popping off it whenever you know a lot of buyers or sellers come out they're not going to be moving because a whole bunch of people on reddit are going to try to take down the hedge funds and go against them all that stuff is nonsense and all of these markets whether you choose to believe it or not every asset class are driven by artificial intelligence that artificial intelligence is an algorithm and it follows instructions that were coded for it and it runs things based on time 